Hi everybody, welcome back to Bitty Bum Boutique TV. Today I'm going to show you um, an easy way to make any artificial flower into a cute hair clip. Flowers are pretty popular right now with babies um, and even um, um, teenagers. So, and even adults, I actually have seen flowers in adult hair lately. So this is just an easy way that you can make a flower into a hair clip. I'm going to show you two different flowers that I have here. Um, the first one is a small black one that I get. Um, I get these online. They come in all different colors. You buy them by the dozen. Um, they come with the rhinestone and they're very cheap. Um, so this is how they come and then this is the back. So the first step is just to take off this back piece. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hold on to the stem and what you want to do, get your petals how you want them to lay and you're going to hot glue gun each layer together so that when you cut the stem off they all stay because um, once you cut this off there's nothing keeping them together so I'm going to um, turn it over and my petals moved on me I'm going to turn this layer okay like that so once you have it there's this this particular flower has three layers so I'm going to put some glue on this layer and it's just a little because you're just keeping them like I said together and then we're going to go in between these two layers just like that and you can do both sides if you want to just for a little extra security there So now flowers intact. Now you're going to take, you need um, a pair of wire cutters um, and this has like a flat side so that you can get all the way down because you don't want any of that stem left because then it just kind of pops up on your clip and you don't want that. So you want to get as flat and as far down as you can just like that. And the reason I glued it first is because now, instead of trying to hold it all and glue it, it's just easier to go ahead and do that while the stem is still on there. Just got some hot glue there. Okay, so now you can add felt to the back. I'm going to for this one, um, just because I have some black felt and it's right here, so I'm going to add that. But you don't have to. I, I don't always do that. So I'm just going to... I just cut a little square. I'm just going to add some hot glue back here. Put my piece of felt right over that. Just like that. And then I already have my alligator pinch already lined. So I'm just going to attach that to the back. sure you have enough glue to really keep it secure. Just hold it for a few seconds and then there you go. Just like that, turn a flower into a hair clip. And like I said, um, the site I get these from is haloheaven.com and they have lots of different size flowers. Um, but this particular one is very cheap. You get them by the dozen, and they come in pretty much every color. And like I said, the rhinestone's already there. Okay, so next, this one is one that I got um, just at Michael's or somewhere like that. And so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to glue. We're gonna, um, I've already taken the back off of this one. So I still have the stem in there, and I'm going to glue the layers just like that and 
And I'm going to do both sides because this one's a little bigger. Okay. So now, same thing. We're going to turn it over. Cut all the way down as flat as we can. And then we're just going to add our already lined alligator clip. Hold it there. And if you wanted to put a piece of ribbon there, you could, and then wrap it around the alligator clip, but you don't have to. Sure, my layers. This one needs a little more glue. And there you go. Could add this to a headband, leave it as a clip. But you can buy any flowers, the dollar store, Michaels, Joann's, wherever you find cute flowers, um, you can turn them into a clip just like that. Alright, see you next time.